Antarctica is like going to another world. You know, you kind of feel like you've gone off to, you know, uh, a remote, you know, like mining or moon colony or something when you get down to McMurdo Station. You know, there's a, it's a big operation there. And that's where we're doing kind of all our prep and getting things ready. But our research isn't actually taking place there at the, the base. We've actually got to go further afield into the mountains. And that's another long plane ride and setting up basically from scratch a camp kind of out in the middle of nowhere on the ice. And so that's where you really feel like you're kind of, you know, out in the actual Antarctic. But historically, we haven't done a lot of sampling at high latitudes like in Antarctica. So again, the continents were largely connected during this time. Antarctica was ice free, but it was still at a polar latitude. So these animals were still living in a place that three months out of the year would have been constant light and three months out of the year would have been constant darkness. So even though most of Antarctica is covered in ice, there is a lot of ice free area and a lot of places where like the Transantarctics, where you've got the mountains rising up out of the ice. And so one misconception is that we're not actually going there and kind of carving or digging holes in the ice. We're doing our paleontology there, just like we do it at most other places where we're going to where rocks are actually exposed and we're kind of prospecting and hunting and walking over those rocks to look for um, little bits of fossil uh, weathering out. So that part of the gig is the same. Now there's going to be ice kind of all around you and that makes it feel like an otherworldly landscape. You know, but the other big thing that surprises people is just this concept in general that in the past Antarctica, you know, was free of ice, different landscapes, and hosted all kinds of plants and animals, including dinosaurs. You know, and I think that just comes from a viewpoint of kind of understanding things the way they are today and also with kind of a limited scale that we sometimes have um, based on our own time spans and, and more mortalities when we're trying to think about things that happened deep, deep, deep millions of years in the past or potentially things that are gonna happen in the future. 